I'm guessing recent graduates are hearing the free advice. You can write your own story now. Well, before Jeremy Frank walked across the stage last week at Stevenson High School, he had already authored a book. Megan Mawicki sat down with the phenom for some frank talk about his very bright future. I'm just really good at math. Uh, that's really all I'm really good at. Jeremy Frank loves baseball, idolizing the Cubs, and he loves stats. Now the 18-year-old has become a baseball data whiz. I was at a Brewers game and someone recognized me. It was just the coolest thing. Jeremy's Twitter account, at MLB Random Stats, has caught the attention of some sports-heavy hitters, including White Sox broadcaster Jason Bonetti and Boston Red Sox manager Alex Cora. He has over 32,000 followers. It was an obscure stat he discovered about Reds first baseman Joey Votto that caught people's attention. He had like popped out I think 15 times in his entire career and like these are like players like normal players that would pop out like 20 30 times in a year. I mean even not in baseball things are numbers he's like his father everything's a number you say a sentence he'll tell you about a number that it's related to. This just looks like a whole lot of numbers I mean, you can make sense of this. Yeah I, after a while you get kind of get used to it. Jeremy published his first book two weeks ago hidden ball trick before he graduated from Stevenson High School. Now he's off to Purdue to study data science and then like the end goal for me is like to eventually be in um, like work for a major league team. But I love baseball. It's my like the fa my favorite thing in the world. I spend hours watching just analyzing it all the time. So yeah for an, for now it's for fun. In Buffalo Grove, Megan Mawicki, CBS 2 News. <laughs> Sounds like Jeremy's going to be the next Theo Epstein, who was a GM at age 28. How about this? So impressive. He has his own book out. When I was a high school graduate, the most impressive thing I had written was my commencement speech, and I couldn't <laughs> sell it on Amazon.